Thanks for logging on to WBKB11.com. Our forecast will keep the fog as well as the showers. Those that little shower chances will continue, but then milder temperatures start to move in. Mild, we're talking temperatures near the 70 degree range, especially if you're away from Lake Huron, but then temperatures really start to plummet. We'll have a cold front move through. Coldest air that we've seen thus far will be right behind this air mass. Therefore, we'll really get our share of temperatures that will be below normal. Here's that feed that we're getting from the southwest that's giving us a nice punch of this warm air. Also causing a lot of the fog that we've been experiencing, but then Going into the morning, the fog will clear. That's when that cold front starts to approach. We'll have the rain showers move in here and the cold temps as well. And unfortunately, even though the sunshine comes back, the warm temperatures will not. Therefore, we'll have temperatures very cold, really the coldest that we've seen, especially during the evening time, because the clearing effect is actually going to work against us because when you have those clear skies and the light winds, we can definitely start to cool when you have winds coming from the northwest and they are as chilly as this air mass is. Overnight, 53 degrees, mostly cloudy, isolated showers. Patchy fog will continue until the morning. Winds will be from the south at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. For Thursday's forecast, the patchy fog will start to dissipate in the morning, then partly sunny and breezy. Look at those temperatures well above normal for this time of year, well into the 70s in some areas, especially if you're away from the lake. Your seven day forecast shows that that day for Thursday, well, it's just going to last for Thursday. After that, we'll Will fall below normal and notice that Hurricane Sandy or what's left of her could affect us by next week.